stutter shit. Your stutter. I'm doing your video. Hi, I'm your host. In these short minutes, you will be exposed to various topics such as media censorship. A friend of ours, Ian, is very enlightened on this subject. He couldn't make it. It's not Ian. It's not him. Come on, take that off. Take it down! Yeah, that's Ian. Right there. Today, we will be following two young boys who are both avid users of the internet. Sir Joseph Eli Lenham III, CVE, and Casey Roll Panther. But you can call them Craig. Um... I... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Just you... <laughs> Stop. Please don't. Stop. I'm scared. You're scaring me. What are you doing for me? Stop. <laughs> you, you can't... You just... You can't... <laughs> Wait. Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Um, I think we should draw the line on restrictions. Like, what do you mean? We should be able to download any kind of music we want. Yeah. And, uh, but there shouldn't be any pictures of, uh, dead people and, uh, illegal things. So. That. Okay. Um, do you know Steven okay, Spielberg? Well. I don't know if you've met. No. Um, hey, Mr. Spielberg. I'm a big fan. You music and I have watched movies yeah. like Die Hard and Die Hard 2 and Die Hard with a Vengeance and Live Free or Die Hard but I haven't seen the fifth one because yeah. usually the quality is really terrible at this point it's always the old movies that are illegally put into the system on the internet uh, not the newer ones because the newer ones are usually filmed by somebody inside the movie theater and then you always don't get a very good view because somebody with popcorn Head. stands up <laughs> and then you always just want to go inside that movie theater scene and just like push them and beat their skull into a pulp for ruining my movie screen time and I'll never get to watch the rest of that movie until it comes out on DVD and or I find it on another website perfectly made perfect quality you got, you got I think we okay. should draw the line on the internet where it starts to get illegal to our moral principles I listen to music to go to bed. You know, they can't, they shouldn't take away somebody's rights. I mean, minor offenses like such as downloading music that usually, they should focus on major, major things that are going on on the internet. Like, uh, giant drug rings and such. Huh? Yeah. The internet! The computer should only be for education, uh, high morals, and bettering our humanity, not for pornography and not for exploiting women. 
the news doesn't really affect me at all. If there are people dying in Turkey, uh, to be honest, it wouldn't change anything about my life. If there are people dying in D.C., same rule applies. Um, <laughs> there are people uh, burning to death in California from uh, forest fires. Uh, my life would still be the same. Uh, there would just be more sad people in it. Everything is always one-sided, and it's never the full view of the question given. The, There's always yes. a bias in news. It's always going to be one-sided. You'll never hear the terrorist point of view. You'll never hear the governor's point of view. There's a back a couple of years ago. There was a governor that shot himself in the face during a press conference, pulled a gun out of an envelope, and shot his face. His face was shot to death once. And guess what happened? You don't know why he did it. But for sure, you'll never know. Time with the black 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 black. Black. What? The man Joseph Eli Lanham was referring to was actually a Pennsylvanian treasurer named R. Bud Dwyer, who was framed for bribery and committed suicide the day before his sentence. This real world injustice relates to the many online and media injustices we witness today. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> uh, dirty is written twice. What else would I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it requires credit card information. They can backtrack you. I don't have a job. You. I don't have a. I don't have a car. <laughs> you know, people do what they need to do to pass up their time. You know, everybody. You know, everybody has the right to media sources, and, um, not like I do, uh, but other people do, and they should be allowed to any time they want. Oh, Reed, I'm gonna cut you into, I'm gonna cut you into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever owned a membership to one of those web- A similar, more relevant, and more recent event to that of Bud Dwyer's happened not too long ago in January 2013 when Aaron Swartz, an internet activist, mostly known for his collaboration with the internet website Reddit, hanged himself in his apartment two years after his initial arrest for downloading uh, academic journal articles. He received up to a 35-year jail sentence and a $1 million fine. I think it's a fragment of everybody's imagination, and it's a terrible way to show authority, and that it's useless, and that they can't do anything to do anything about anyone, yeah. and that it's not going to change anything about anything, yes, and that they're just going to, they're just going to, like, BS the whole thing, yes, and, then they're just, and then they're just going to kill themselves. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Ooh, hot cocoa. Just until the point where every, uh, where somebody discovers a better way of communication. So, I mean, farther until its point reaches an end, you know. Sort of like what happened to the telegraph. Pretend like the cam was not there, man. Age is just a number. <laughs> <laughs> so are chromosomes. Do you think children should be, even exist at this point? We should just kill all the children. We should, yeah. So if all the population so large. Depends on if it's only a cuss word that they're censoring or a full phrase. If it's a if it's a full phrase they're censoring, 
then I guess if it's just like a couple of cuss words, then it doesn't really matter because you don't want to hear your five year old nephew being like, ah, oh, did you hear what 50 Cent said? You got shot nine times. You should get shot like 41 more times <laughs> in, the, in the chest and stomach and groin and skull. So that way, 50 Cent would actually mean something to him. Get out of here! Over. Here is Casey Hall, aka Chicoco Plex, in his natural habitat, editing videos. Look at that face. Even with the shrimp fad still going strong. Have you ever seen me walk like a shrimp? Hopefully, from this documentary, you have learned at least one lesson you can use in your life. There's much more to learn about the internet. And even yourself. To understand the mind of an individual, one must explore the mind of an individual. in the future.